show you a couple of applications as to what happens when we're doing tank cleaning and how the system works more than anything. So one of the things that, uh, that we talked about at the uh, beginning was uh, uh, to start off with getting the water out of the system. And it's a, it's a step that uh, we use the, uh, this debris um, accessory for. The cam lock fittings make it real nice. down not only to the bottom but you can get over to the side and this is a demo tank so it's very small but in a larger tank you can usually get over to almost the middle of the tank so that eventually you can get down uh, to both sides the other part of it is once you got the water out you can get that debris out of there there's a whole bunch of little pellets that we put down in there and they're all down at the bottom essentially suck up all the sludge out of that unit. So you want to uh, discharge the system in the water? We don't, don't get diesel all this stuff. Again, we have the side glasses so you can see what's going on as far as whether there's flow in the system or not. Okay. And then if you look at the back filter, pellets that we threw in there earlier. When the uh, pressure comes up on this gauge, then you know that, they're, that the bag is starting to get full. You pull this out, you empty it, and then you go back for more until you get all your debris out. You have a large uh, micron at first, and you get down to something smaller, get finer and finer, and then eventually with this unit, you can isolate the cartridge filter while you're doing the large particles with the bag filter. And then when you're ready to get down to the smaller micron and use your cartridge, all you have to do is engage the secondary canister uh, with a valve system. And now you have not only the bag filter going, but you also have the cartridge filter going. what you do is you, you, you try to get this, uh, in fact we're going to have to, uh, we try to get the uh, fluid down. Again we have the handy dandy plugs. And what we talked about is one of the steps was to take some fuel out of the system and get the uh, level down to about four or five inches. So the gamma jet can work through the whole surface, right? You can see that if you put a gamma jet in there and you got it all the way up to the top, you'd only be doing three quarters of the, of the tank. The, uh, at this point, we're, we would be pull, pulling fuel out, we would take it all the way down, and then uh, transfer solvent or solution into the tank to bring it up to the four or five inches uh, to use something. with the jet. So we're just going to take this down and like well, yeah, it also looks like it's collapsing. We've had a lot of comments from people about the fact that uh, the Dixon pumps work really, really well at this really small 
uh, levels that are in the tank. Because essentially, the more you can get out of the bottom there, the more surface area you can affect. That sound is bypass. So it's shut off. That's going around the bypass right now. And that's not a problem because uh, of our design. No issue. You should probably get some air. Uh, let me, uh, once you. Uh, So one thing that's kind of nice about the jet, the Gamma Jet that uh, Randy designed is uh, we have this uh, unit here at the top that helps you put it wherever you want to and lock it in. And uh, that's that's just a nice little uh, device that he developed to make it really easy when you're installing these things. So you essentially can tighten up. Where's the Tighten this up, set it down to between, um, essentially to the middle of the tank. So you have to kind of measure your depth. I'm going to have to pull that up pretty high, just because it's a little tiny tank. Tighten it down. Take the discharge. Take your plug. plug. What is it, everyone? Plug.